What's going on, y'all? This is Hadra Fasima. We are here with another episode of Do Not Disturb the Process Podcast. I got my boy Fairy Khan here with me. Listen, we about to get it started, get it cracking, get it popping. <laughs> okay, so for the people that don't know yeah. who you are, um, tell them a little bit about you. Um, I'm Fairy Khan Hall. I am from Memphis. I graduated from White Station High. Went on to play at the University of Memphis, graduated. I've been playing professional basketball for the past 10 years and uh, started on the clothing line about two years ago. I've just been going with it, just been growing as a creative. But happy to be here talking to the yeah. girl about you. So let's get yeah. going. So we know you started out with basketball. Yeah, started out with the Glenview Mitch. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then I got introduced to like competitive basketball. And that's where I could show my true self, you know what I'm saying, whether it be somebody can scream out like you can let everything out on the court that's how I kind of came up and then when I was younger a coach told me uh, John Lucas is a, I mean, basketball fans don't know who John Lucas is but John Lucas told me don't never lose your edge don't never lose their passion about you you know what I'm saying so it stuck with me and it, it took me on the places but once I finally became professional like a pro uh, one of my coaches came to me and he told me like he loved your passion like, I love how hard you play I love how much you care, but I need you to be more purposeful when you mm-hmm. on the court, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and meaning, I need you to run certain lanes. I need you to set the screens in a certain way. I need you to be in this spot and actually know why you're doing the things that you're doing. It helped, it helped me elevate my IQ as a basketball player, but it also helped me apply it to my life. Right, right, right. exactly, exactly. Because if you think about it, right? Most yeah. situations we, we going into are more passionate, going about things like this my parents I love to do this but really like you gotta have a plan I turned it into the mission for my company which is to to inspire dreamers to pursue their passion with a purpose mm, say that one more time for the people in the back <laughs> this good. to inspire dreamers to pursue their passion with a purpose so that's just really it so your company uh, yeah. give us give me a little bit like give us like the company what's the company Steel Community uh, Steel Community was founded in 2020 really when I was taking a break from some of my dreams of playing in the NBA and I got a chance to sit down during quarantine and uh, I just was planning out you know, kind of like what I wanted to have in the future mm-hmm. once basketball was done mm-hmm. I had always been interested in you know, so being fly and looking cool mm-hmm. it's, it's when I watch your reels and your videos and how you put it out it's like I don't want to wear it because it's just fresh I want to wear it because it means something the way that I can be a storyteller not through narration but through using clothing as my canvas yeah right so i wanted to tell my own story to start off so our first release was like what's called lifeline and it, it took people through different parts of memphis where i was raised you know what i'm saying yeah. like different uh i would say like monuments that i felt like were important to me like bellevue baptist church mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like i said that's where i got my start playing glimpsing community so obviously that was a place where i started to play yeah. just the house that i grew up in all these different areas and then, you know, just from like being authentic and telling my own true story.